Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Greg Mason Gaming HD, and today I'm showing you guys we're playing Kingdoms of Valor Reckoning, and I'm showing you guys a Sagecraft guide. So, to get started off, I'm gonna show you guys where I am right now. I'm in Gorehart, and I've discovered a lot more places to the east, but I decided this was the easiest place since everyone has unlocked it at at least level two in the game. So. Once you get here, you're g there's going to be a guy out of St. Odwig's Missionary, and you're going to talk to him and do one quest, and no. that'll unlock this Can't place. Be. So then you're going to head downstairs where the Sagecraft altar, altar is, and there will be a side quest for you to do too. And you're just going to want to go into Weapon Gems, just for me to show you guys the basic, basic starter of it. And I'm going to speed it up here because I'm basically showing you guys a lot of different things but you just combine two shards and make a better one. Cloudies are not the best but they're still good. Now once we get into here I'm speeding this up a lot because um, there's no point I'm just repeating it all over and over again and basically once you find what kind of shards you like I'm just gonna tell you right now if you combine a elemental shard fire ice lightning with a magic shard, it creates that type of damage. Like fire and magic make a uh, fire damage gem. So you're just gonna do that. Now that I found out what I want, you're I slowed it back down so you guys can see to normal speed. And I think right here uh, we're gonna do the fire gem, and that's by com com yeah. combining a cloudy fire shard with a with a cloudy magic shard. That'll make nine fire damage and three burning damage. And when you make it, if you have any boosts in that, it'll make you a little stronger. But then you're gonna go to sockable items. If you ever get an item, I'll show you my equipment right now, and I'll go to my secondary. It has a weapon slot and a utility slot. That's key, because that's what you need to put your sagecraft stuff in cannot s make your own socket. So, once you have found the gem you want, so you can see if I already made a few, here's the one I made, and look, it makes it better just for doing that. As my damage before was about 33, it is now, f what was it, 49, yeah, it was 49, it's now 63, and that is really good. So I'll have a sequence to this, be sure to check it out. Hopefully I'll remember to put a, what, what do you call it, a little link in the, the, dis, in the video so that you guys can head to the next video that's on utility gems. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. This has been Great Amazing Game HD. Comment, subscribe, and rate. See you guys later. More tutorials to come.